Ladies and gentlemen, it's an absolute pleasure and honor being with you here today to talk about the impact of artificial intelligence on urban living and sustainable development. As you all know, based on the wonderful set of speakers that will be participating today, artificial intelligence is a technology that has not just taken over our lives, but is a technology that we are depending on for a living. This technology today shapes the way that we communicate, the way that we transport from one place to another or move, and it also shares a fundamental part of our social interactions between and amongst ourselves. To some extent, artificial intelligence can also be seen as the main driver for consumption behavior and also as the main driver for how we interact with our surroundings and how we interact with different people around us. I genuinely believe that the future of artificial intelligence and the future of urban living are going to go hand in hand. What is going to happen moving forward is that this technology is going to create a virtual layer that enhances our physical layer in a way that makes our cities better, in a way that makes our living and our quality of living better in terms of standards, and as well takes in data from many, many sensors around the, our cities to provide us with better insights and provide us with better decision-making metrics. This is why in the UAE we believe that it is fundamental for us to work with this technology, not as an emerging technology that is coming, but something that we are already late in the game for and something that we need to overcome every single burden to deploy in a responsible manner. Most countries believe that artificial intelligence is coming, but we believe that it's already here and we believe that we need to move fast to make sure that we benefit from its positive uses. It is also important that when we look at artificial intelligence, we don't look at it as a technology that is going to serve us in the short term. This is a technology that brings with it a lot of opportunities, but many challenges as well. If we look at it as a tool, then we need to understand what are the positives that are going to come out of it, but at the same time, what are the negatives that are not just going to come out in the short term, but are going to be long-term negative challenges or things that we need to overcome to ensure that future generations thank us for the correct deployment. When looking at deploying artificial intelligence in urban environments, I see a few different ways that it can serve us. The first, when it comes to government services, I genuinely believe that government services can be enhanced and used to become tailored for individuals. Artificial intelligence can proactively tell us what a citizen needs and ensure that we can provide the service before the individual in the city actually asks for it. It can also help governments take better decisions. Municipal governments can also ensure that they can crunch amazing and big amounts of data to take the right decisions and to have the right insight when it comes to planning and also deployment of capital. Cities in the future post-COVID are going to change. We know that post-COVID, people will require their services digitally more so than ever. And the transformation that we went through during this very short time period has made us all both digital and physical beings. Consumption is going to be purely digital in the, in the future, with most of our needs being delivered to our doorstep. There is also going to be a, a big shift on digitizing traditional services and industries as well. These shifts are going to have to be enabled by government and they will have to be entrepreneurs from around the world thinking about solving the biggest issues by using technology and using artificial intelligence to continuously improve the services that are being delivered. Government policies and legislations should not be out of tape we need to work with the private sector hand in hand to ensure that these deployments are positive and to also ensure that we can test the technology on the ground. Cities are also hotbeds for diversity. Most global cities have people from many different countries across the world. In the UAE, for example, in our main cities, we have over 200 nationalities in a very densely populated geography in Dubai and in Abu Dhabi. This diversity makes artificial intelligence flourish and also allows us to create solutions that are global. Governments need to keep doing that and they need to welcome diversity and also create a quality of life 
that allows for talent to spend time in these cities and to invest in creating a family or live the rest of their life in these cities. There is also a very important fundamental fact when it comes to climate change and sustainability. We need to also keep in, into consideration that there is a challenge that we are facing today, which is the climate challenge that we are all trying to overcome together. Climate change cannot be combated by one country alone and it cannot be combated in one specific day. It's a constant challenge that is constantly changing and evolving. This evolution of this challenge requires that we use data and we use artificial intelligence to help us ensure that we can understand what we can do to have the biggest impact. So let me give you an example. There are many ways for us to deploy sensors and artificial intelligence to understand what creates the most pollution in cities. We can also understand how we can make specific policy changes with regard to when schools start, when people go to work, and how people commu commute to ensure that we can reduce pollution, smog, and haze in cities. We can also deploy AI and advanced technologies like Agritech to produce most of the foods and the requirements that we have within the cities and distribute it effectively to ensure that prices are not too high and that citizens are able to get what they need in the right and timely manner. I think that we are in the beginning of this technology. We are in the first second of the first minute of the first hour of the first day of artificial intelligence. And the future is in your hands. It's in the hands of the individuals that want to create a positive impact and want to deploy that across the globe. I urge you all to think of this technology sustainably and responsibly and to think of future generations not only in your country but around the world to ensure that the future is brighter and more positive. I hope that you all stay safe and sound during these difficult times that, that we can overcome artificial, uh, we can overcome COVID using artificial intelligence and using social responsible metrics for everyone everywhere. Thank you all for the invitation and I look forward to seeing you all in person in the near future.